some of you have noticed that I've been back on Twitter over the last week, and boy, have I been pissing people off over the last, what, like, nine days or so. Um, so without further ado, let's talk about why I've been back on Twitter. Um, I came back to Twitter for the Turf War, um, the, uh, the epic duel of trannies and, well, everyone else who isn't a brain-dead fuck versus uh, TERFs. Uh, now, what are TERFs, you may, you may be asking? Well, TERFs is an acronym that stands for uh, Trans Exclusionary Radical Fuckhead. Oh. Sorry, misspoke. Uh, Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. I do get those two mixed up quite often. Now, why would I want to combat TERFs? Well, TERFs have been up my ass my entire fucking transition. And I don't mean that literally. They fucking wish, right? They, those ugly cunts. No, they have been hounding me more than any other fucking group combined, right? In fact, all of them combined. So ever since bef I've decided to transition, these motherfuckers have been giving me bullshit, and not just me, my trans sisters and my trans brothers as well, uh, for, the sake, for the sake of the fact we exist, right? How the fuck fair is that, right? And they like to do this unopposed. So I'd like to um, actively oppose them, hence the, uh, the turf war. Um, should we notice that, like, TERFs are not included in uh, intersectional feminism. Um, they are actually the leftovers of second wave feminism that intersectionality um, wanted to deal with and kind of hand wave away and, and be more inclusive. Um, so TERFs aren't even liked by other feminists, at least feminists who aren't fucking second wave dinosaurs. Not that the, the, the third wave and, uh, and the quote unquote fourth wave are any better, um, but at least they're not nearly as nasty as these fucks. TERFs are the worst of the worst, in my opinion. But uh, l let's go into why they're the, they're the worst. See, the problem is with TERFs that uh, their entire rhetoric, everything about their arguments, revolves around uh, this notion that men are inherently toxic. Now, this is nothing new to those who are who have been following uh, the anti-feminist circles or anti-social justice and whatnot. But TERFs take it to a new extreme, um, or rather an old extreme. They, they, they hate men so much that, that they have to project that upon trannies, even though simultaneously they'll mark any tra uh, trans women who do not exhibit them, uh, masculine features. So they, they want their cake and eat it, it seems. Um, it's very hard to actually get them to be consistent. Like a lot of ideologues, TERFs will use any cherry-picked arguments they can support their hatred of their chosen targets, i.e. men and transsexuals. And that go the same goes for men, um, uh, trans men, not just trans women. Uh, they, they hate them both equally, but they, they, do go they do tend to go more at trans women. Now, they'll do this no matter how this cherry-picking, no matter how insane or uh, horribly out of date their information is, or uh, outright false it is, it doesn't matter to them. They will latch onto anything that allows them to hammer their opponents. Uh, speaking of their insanity, uh, they do tend to display fixation on, on select topics that they believe um, support their views. Um, such as, in the examples I'm, I, I'm showing you, uh, blaming porn, uh, anime, um, what, you know, the combination of porn and anime, uh, whatever their argument or mockery is based on, they, they, they love to latch on into it like a bunch of blood-sucking leeches. Tell us like to pretend that they have a monopoly on uh, solutions. Uh, what I mean by this is they like to pretend that they are enlightened. They think they know better than everyone else. Um, it could be further than the truth. They cannot see past their biases. Um, for example, they will uh, claim that uh, that you're that you're close-minded, that you don't want your position changed, and uh, if you don't read their uh, if you don't read their, their their blogs or whatever they're trying to source out. But when you actually go to read them, it's very evident that they hold biases and they cannot be objective, and there is nothing but pure bile being spewed from them. If that fails, or they'll actually resort to uh, derailing uh, or deflection tactics. It's whatever whatever they can use to make their opponents look stupid or to get information out of them, whatever their goal might be. I was actually surprised to learn, despite the fact that most of their rhetoric, in fact, almost all their rhetoric, consists of 
um, hating men and portraying them as rapists, pedophiles, whatever they can use to, to hammer um, at their opponents. Uh, they actually have white knights that will that will that will defend them, uh, you know, in, in hopes that they uh, they get their, their peepees touched or, or whatever. They're they're more than happy to whip themselves to please the uh, the women's of the group. It's really fucking sad. No no woman is attracted to that, especially not turfs, because some of them are actually trans themselves. I cannot believe it. Oh, you'd better the fucking believe it. Trust me, um, I've seen it. So these examples right here, uh, <laughs> they like to project their own insecurities on other people and blame us for their problems, um, such as uh, regretting their transition or it being a fetish for them, uh, specifically the fetish of, um, of fetishization of, wo of womanhood autogynophilia, as, it, as they call it, which is uh, really out-of-dated information um, and does not apply to most transsexuals. In fact, the, the majority of transsexuals, like, overwhelmingly aren't gyno autogynophilic. Um, they just want to be comfortable with the, pe the, the, the person that they are. As expected, TERFs are very, very low. They, they will use any tactics, as I said earlier, to, to, to dismiss their opponents, to make them look like shit, Whatever the case may be. Uh, they're not above sending death threats to trans women who oppose them. Uh, they love to quote mine motherfuckers. And like all feminists, they love to play the victim. They like to claim such things as uh, the term tough is a slur. Because uh, you know, it has nothing to do with their, uh, their hatred of people or the way they go about their, their, uh, their rhetoric. Um, but yet... They love to make slurs for, for trans women and other people that go against them. Of course they do, because they're hypocrites. Uh, they love to make uh, hit lists to track and uh, actively um, set up attacks on their targets. Nice. But don't you dare ever do it to them. They will fucking flip a shit. <laughs> They'll mass flag and censor people, deplatform them to their liking. It doesn't, there's nothing that they won't resort to. They'll even go so far as to dig up information on people, dox them, and also stalk them to intimidate them, and uh, also dig up information, whatever their goals may be, to get rid of a person. Overall, TERFs are pretty fucking ignorant motherfuckers, let me tell you. Uh, let me show you some examples of what I mean. They're very ignorant of um, their own movement's history and the development of its narratives. They, uh, they apparently have no idea that the narrative was that only men could vote. I mean, that's not historically true, but they are ignorant of the fact that that narrative was used to quote-unquote get women to vote. And if you mention this, they'll frame it the other way around, such as you're trying to take the vote away from women. Uh, no, not at all. I'm, I'm, in, the, in the example I've shown, uh, I was actually just reversing your clauses. They're also ignorant of the activities of other feminists, and also other TERFs, such as trying to claim uh, that, that someone advocating for lobotomizing people is just a meme. It's just a joke. But you know damn well if it was d uh, done against them that they would flip a fucking shit. Additionally, TERFs tend to be ignorant of other TERFs' uh, activities, such as claiming that uh, what they do is for the safety of women and children, yet... When I, I, when I presented evidence that one of them admitted that women tend to abuse children in private, they outright claimed it was a lie in spite of the fact that I could produce that evidence. So they like, they like, they like to pretend that they know what the fuck is going on when really they don't. Then again, they're also full of hypocrisy. They like to advocate for women's spaces, yet don't understand that feminism um, has been actively undermining men's spaces. And they don't um, advocate for men's only spaces, nor those for trans. They just want men. They just want spaces for women. And unsurprisingly, they'll also actively undermine their own rape culture narrative by promoting it themselves. Hell, some of them are just fucking lazy. Uh, they'll outright lie instead of actually doing real research that could have taken them all of five seconds, and the skill of operating a squirrel wheel. And last, but definitely not least. And, well, actually, no, definitely not last. This is not an exhaustive list. This is just the examples I can bring up from the last, like, five days. 
Uh, TERFs happen to have no self-awareness whatsoever. They rob women's agency just as much as other feminists do, while simultaneously claiming, again, that they are actually advocating for women. Those ignorant savages. So now that he knows what's going on, what do we do about it? Well, very few feminists want to deal with this problem. Um, I've seen a few that do, but the few that have actually spoken out have uh, been attacked by TERFs quite uh, actively. So it's, they, they, like, they, they like to intimidate their, their opponents. Me? I'm not going anywhere. I'm, 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 since they already started to target me, um, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. By the way, retards, I did notice that you all, that a bunch of you subscribed to me, considering that my subscribers jumped up by like 15 in a single day. I'm not fucking stupid. So go ahead, scroll through all my shit. Go for it. Please do. Anything you dig up is already public knowledge. All right. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna frighten me. You're not gonna intimidate me like you tried to with my trans sisters or even the people that I would normally argue with. This is one of the few topics that I actually do side with feminists on. And feminists, you need to deal with this shit because they make you look bad. They make you look really fucking bad. And uh, with that, um, I thank you all for watching my video. Thank you.